Fuck guys. Five seconds remaining. Alrighty then, here we are again. Or well, soon anyway. Oh my god, didn't, didn't, didn't. Oh, did you get all the sounds? Ah, oh, you're not in streamer mode. No, it's you... not streaming. <laughs> that is true. That would make sense. I know people who use streamer mode just to get rid of the sounds when they don't want them. Uh, oh, I, I don't mind them. I think Do Not yeah. Disturb does the same thing though, doesn't it? Yes, it I does. I think so anyway. Yeah, um, it starts to pings. But yeah, cool. It's been a while. I think I've had Dave maybe three times in a row recently. Yes. One Thanks. thing... I Yeah, it's very nice of Dave. One, one thing I never understand is... um. Uh, the viewers on my channel can randomly fluctuate quite a lot. I wonder if it's just like who's around at the time. Like one day it will be six viewers the whole time, six or seven viewers, and then another day it will be twenty. And you just think, uh, where where's everyone come bots? from? Yeah, bots. Yeah, <laughs> maybe so. Um, anyway, I've made the title of this stream: "Will Spirit Breaker Be Banned?" Because he is always banned, like as a joke. But it seems like this is their last opportunity to ban it before it actually gets let through. So we'll see what happens. True, but it will be Radiant Team where Brex isn't on. Five seconds that if they were to first pick it, yeah, I don't and they know. They can against him. So what actually is Spirit Breaker's win rate in Divine? Um, we go Spirit Breaker. <laughs> Ollie, it's fifty-two point two percent. So it's pretty high. Well, what's Ollie? What's he done? Going to copy faster. Oh, right in chat. Hello, caster. You think you're 20... <laughs> oh, well, I like the good bot. Copy fasters. That's true. I did... Uh, I don't know. Five seconds Ollie's, Ollie's helping by viewbotting for me. Thanks, Ollie. I appreciate it. Um, Spirit Breaker was banned after all that. What a shame. I mean, they couldn't... They just couldn't afford someone else to first pick it. But uh, Brex had two of his heroes banned against him. Bounty Hunter and Elder Titan. So they really have it out for Brex. Yeah, it'll I... be Dawnbreaker or something that he'll play. Um, um, he's thinking played... about his hero pools. He's played things throughout the years that used to be banned. He used to play Pugna quite a lot. He used to play Skyrath Mage. Um, Techies, obviously. Oh, nah, nah. We're not, we might not... We're not... Well, we'll see. We'll see. He doesn't tend to get... I mean, Techies never gets picked or banned in their own houses. It's always a very rare occasion when it happens. I think Max has played Techies before as well. Yes, he has. So, but anyway, Weaver's going to be the first pick. Very popular hero right now, both pos 1, yeah. 4, and 5. I don't think you can really play it 2 or 3, but uh, very versatile hero, very good. I think Cocopian plays a lot of Weaver. Yeah. I haven't seen a Weaver 5s though. I've seen Weaver's 4. Maybe 4. One. Well, he plays 4 more likely, doesn't it? Yeah. And yeah. This, this hero made a massive resurgence to our in houses. We see him almost every single match now. Ogre Magi. Classic. And Jakira. Yes. Jakira is always a um, good hero. Remember when Drekken was here? He used to play a lot of Jakira. Yep. But he wore his Jakira shirt as well. Yes, of course. Oh, I like that. It. He always had the cameras on. He was a good sport. Yeah. Oh, the dire team is called He Picked Tiny. And yes. You, you don't really get any of the face in the banner. They need to think about that. Whereas Gordon's boys have obviously got the classic. <laughs> yeah. Gordon Ramsay just kind of floating around. Silence are very early. Can be quite good against Weaver. Got high damage to trade with him. And if you global silence him, he can't use his time rewind. What is it called? I've forgotten um, the name. Why have I forgotten the name? Of, um, um, That's oh, bad. So it begins with... I was going to say reverse time. It's not definitely time <laughs> warp. Reverse <laughs> time. No, that's... Time, time lapse. Time, time lapse. That's time lapse. Time lapse. That's the one. Time lapse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks, Ollie. Time lapse. And Sakuchi, he can't use either of those. And therefore, he's very easy to kill. One thing weavers do, uh, especially in support, is tend to ignore boots, which means if you global silence him, you can just walk up and kill him. He is so slow without his um, spammable Sakuchi. So yeah, it's uh, I like the picks answer. You've also got lockdown with Ogre, so I think you're covering the bases quite well. Silence is slow is very irritating to deal with. I remember when Silencer didn't have a slow. I think giving him a slow definitely made him a better hero. Whether that's a good thing or not, I don't know. But we're Picking Silencer this early, do you think that maybe Radiant would pick heroes where even if Silencer uses his ult, like it won't Radiant even matter? 
Um, yeah, or, I think. You know, they might buy like loads of things. And yules oh, but they and stuff, they like can heroes they... that can rush it. They they can do that by lotuses and yules. You essentially have to. But I like the idea of heroes who can get rid of the silence or don't care too much about it. But I don't think you should build your entire team lineup just around a support. But Abaddon is a really good example here because you can remove the curse, the arcane curse, which is so irritating in lane, and the last word at the same time. So I really like Abaddon against Sansa. Definitely good to have a dispel against him. Plus Abaddon Weaver, that could be quite a nasty lane if it was pos 1, pos 5. You just shield the weaver and he runs in. Very annoying to deal with. Oh, yeah. So we'll see. That's a, it's a combo I used to play a very long time ago. The other one was uh, Omni Knight Weaver. Because Weaver scoochies in, you get the purification on. And then you just beat down the target. Also, uh. Very strong combo. Plus, you can keep Weaver safe, right? Weaver's a very squishy hero, but if you're there to heal him and shield him, then he's probably going to survive, and then he can get his ult off. So... Anyway, I, I like that like that combo, but it might be a support weaver. If it is, though, a Baden's support and weaver support, you don't really have any lockdown there. Yeah. So we need to make up for that. The Brewmaster ban again. Yeah, again, Ben. Yeah, it is really annoying, it, especially when it gets refresher. Yes, so. even just the Aghanims. Yeah. It's so hard to um to kill a Brewmaster with Aghanims. Basically impossible in a team fight scenario. I can't think of many cores who can just straight up kill a Brewmaster. Maybe some of the really powerful right clickers can. But it's difficult for sure. Five seconds remaining. Plus he's just irritating. Puts you in the air for about 400 years with the uh, the Blue Panda. No idea why it lasts so long. It's like a six second Yules or something like that. Very good. I think it should be a sleep instead. So it can be accidentally broken by damage. That might make it a little bit less strong. But then again, Brew's not overpowered. So I suppose he's fine as yeah, he is. Yeah, and he's not really picked that much in pubs. Like, I feel as if Brewmaster is one of them heroes where um, if if it's picked, then really that person is that. like really confident in their really skills to play it. Like, I feel like a, a certain amount of skill needed to play Brew. Oh yeah, definitely. He's um, a high school hero for sure. He's been my, you know, the all hero challenge. Yeah. I haven't even done the first one because he's my first one, and I think oh. I've played him like twice, and I just haven't won. <laughs> or like, <laughs> but this was like years ago since I attempted it. Um, but I don't know how it so. I quite like Brewmaster. I'm don't think I'm particularly good at him, but I'm I'm decent enough. I think my all hero challenge is stuck on. Um. Oh, Ember Spirit at the moment, actually. Don't really play Ember that much. I've really been an Ember player. Despite playing mid, I've played all the other Spirits. No, I haven't played Earth Spirit, actually. I've played the Int Spirits, Void Spirit, Storm Spirit. But I've not really touched Ember very much. I think he's also a really high skill hero. But, uh, you know, sorry for anyone who's all hero challenge gets stuck on Meepo and they're like a POS5 player, because that is not an easy hero to play. Just, um... Just micro one Meepo. You become literally the worst hero in Dota if you do that. Was it Huggy <laughs> used to try and play support Meepo? Oh my god, that was bad. Was it? Yeah, Huggy uh, tried actually, to play Actually, that wouldn't surprise me, honestly. Because you know what Huggy was like, trying to always play things that weren't really that role in that role. Yeah. Kind of, yeah. And, and he did try Meepo support and it's not good. Nyx Assassin. Okay, that means that it's going to be either a core silencer, sort of Ollie style, or we're going to see a... Or Nyx? Ogre or Nyx. I think Nyx the core mm. is interesting because I don't think he scales as well as items as he used to. I mean, I know Aghanims is amazing on him, but once you have Aghanims, everything else is just kind of fun. Unless you're going for like the full assassin burst Nyx, get the Ag Shard, get the high rank Dagon, just go around and kill people. But then that's not easy when there's an Abaddon there to shield them. So yeah, I'm not, not sure about uh, core Nyx, but core Ogre, I played it recently. Uh, maybe a week ago or so. Actually, a lot of fun. Radiant team pick. No. <laughs> uh, I played it pos three, I think. Yeah, ah. pos three again. I did go Midas, and if you can, you know, survive your the fact that you're behind in items for maybe ten minutes, the Midas easily catches you up to top net worth. If you get those big three and four times multicasts on the camps, is amazing. Easy cat, easy class, even. Exactly. Um, Five seconds. They picked anti mage. Quite. I thought that they would pick it like now rather than um, but I think well, it doesn't really matter. They had the next two picks and they, yeah, yeah. They, they wanted to save mid to last. So anti mage against Nick, Sansa, and Ogre, they've all got high amounts of magic damage. 
Oh, there is oh. the Meepo. Wow. Oh. Now, you know what? Meepo is so good against their lineup. Okay, absolutely incredible. It? It's it's think about it. Anti mage can't blink out of it, and anti mage can't use um the the counter spell. Anti mage doesn't matter if he's got magic resistance. Meepo will destroy him with his physical damage and pure damage. So Meepo's already great there. Good against Slada. Slada does have a stun on all of them, but it's a very short stun, and bashing one doesn't really matter. Abaddon's not going to be able to bully the Meepos. They will murder him. And if he dispels one net, he'll just get netted again. Weaver, once you caught him in the net, he's stuck in the net. I think you can time lapse, but if you don't have time lapse, you just go net, net, net. So I really like the Meepo. I thought the anti mage was quite smart against um, Sansa. He's got to be careful though, because Nick's assassin does a lot of pure damage, and that can really um, catch AM off guard. I do, I just think the Meepo pick is great, and the fact that they didn't even wait till last pick, they could have done right. No, yeah. no one was going to expect or ban Meepo, but they yeah. picked it now, which means you have time to pick your big Meepo counters. I wonder um, the best Meepo counter is as a mid hero. Well, they've banned Lesh. They have. Is Lesh good against Meepo? I'm not entirely sure because he'll get murdered and AoE damage isn't what you need against Meepo. You need AoE CC, but single target damage because you're not trying to kill them all at once. You're just trying to kill a Meepo. I think it's a right and Meepo player as well. But yes. I think, it'll, I think it'll be a Ben Meepo though, I think. Uh, but, but it wouldn't surprise me if Rides played the Meepo. Well, I'm not too up to date with all the uh, the Meepo players and who's been playing it, but yeah. It'll be interesting to see how this game goes. They've banned... Okay, they're banning Underlord Legion, just some standard offlane picks. They assume it's going to be... What do they think, then? They think Nick's mid. Maybe they are thinking Nick's mid. Or Ogre mid. Or Silencer mid. Because they're banning <laughs> they're banning off they're banning off lane here, so they don't think Nick's pos 3 uh... is likely. That's five man mid. Five. Yeah. <laughs> Do you remember the meta that was dual mid? For a while. That was a what, really long like time ago. No, or even a lich or things like that. But no. dual mid. Um, dual mid used to be a thing. For a very short time. I'm sure someone here um, would have played it at least once. And the last pick for Radiant? Yeah, I thought Earthshake, it's a bit... I um... thought that as well, but I wasn't sure, like... Um, like, looking at what roles them heroes already were. Phantom Choose your hero. Oh, Meepo yeah, mid. Yeah, I think Meepo mid makes the most sense. I don't think you see him as a pause one, which meant that one of those heroes has to be off lane then. Um... Well, maybe, Nick. maybe it's yeah. So Nick's assassin off lane. I like Phantom Assassin here because Slada obviously can miss his bash if you've got evasion. Anti Mage doesn't really want to buy MKB, not particularly. Um, plus the massive physical damage is great against Anti Mage, who you know is all about Anti Mage to be honest. And Earthshaker can be good against Meepo because you've got lots and lots of lockdown. All of your abilities are AOE stuns. And you do have quite a lot of burst damage, plus the echo, obviously really good, right? If Meepo's there, you're going to have, have the ability to one-shot his team. But uh, I don't think Earthshaker is the be-all, end-all counter to Meepo. He does have a lot of burst, but Meepo is very, very tanky. It's more the lockdown is good, so your team can kill a Meepo, but I wonder if they could have picked someone a bit better than Earthshaker here and just maybe ignored the fact that they need to hard counter the Meepo because you've got to lock down this PA too. Anyway, we'll see. What we'll hero see. do you think... Would have been best then. Yeah, it's a good question. I think when you see Meepo, you're so desperate to counter him because you're really scared. But um, mm. I don't think there's a really easy answer here. Plus ninety, plus twenty percent. Um, with Meepo as a foe, that is an interesting statistic. Someone posted in chat. That's Dota Plus sort of telling you. I think is that saying that there's a twenty percent chance. It thinks you're going to lose when you have Meepo, 20% higher chance? Or is it that it thinks Meepo's an advantage? Oh, <laughs> not sure. Uh, let's get some um, cameras going. I'm not sure. Anyway, we'll have to see. So let's have a look at the itemization. Um, Tim looks like he is playing the support. You've got POS3 Nyx Assassin. Interesting, the Radiant didn't think that was an option because they banned offlane heroes, despite Nyx already having been picked. 
So we are going to see Nick's core. Very low base damage on Nick's, but decent armor and very high health regen. So that is helpful. Let's have a look at how this Meepo does. Seven base armor on Meepo. Very nice. Obviously, Meepo's all about oh base God, stats. He's a master Meepo. Is it? Wow, okay. How yeah, do you even get the opportunity 25. to play that much Meepo? Because he's such a, like, cheese pick, last pick. That means he must have willingly played Meepo into a lot of games. Count yeah, and, like, a lot of counters and stuff as well. I've heard um, some counters to Meepo aren't actually that bad. So good Meepo players, like, apparently Winter Wyvern was seen as, like, the ultimate counter, but a good Meepo player doesn't care too much about Wyvern. You keep the main Meepo away... And you e-blade the one that gets ulted and you're fine. Things like that I heard. But we'll see, we'll see. Yeah, you're so I mean, good, these awful voice lines. <laughs> Meepo is going to be the one to watch, no doubt about that. Let's just have a quick look at the other lanes. Uh, veteran off lane Slada with Cocopium. That's obviously a double minus armor lane. Do lots of physical damage, be quite annoying to deal with. Um, we've got the anti-mage Abaddon. An interesting pairing. It does provide some sustain. Can you survive against Ogre and Nyx? These are the two heroes with massive base health regen. And it's a quad melee lane. Uh, you know both heroes in the game with, with mana burner in this lane as well. Nyx assassin and anti-mage. So it depends oh, yeah. whose mana burner well, is stronger. Uh, Radiant... Uh, it, yeah, I mean, Ogre and Nyx have got the stuns as well. And, like, Kinder and Nat don't really have any... Um, this isn't going very well for the Dyer, I don't think. Look at Nat. Right click, right Ooh. click, right click. I mean, Kinder using Apotic Shield, it's such a strong level 1 spell. 110 shield, 110 damage. Tim has absolutely no mana already, and Brex is at half. And Nat, obviously still on full mana, hasn't used any, and Kinder plenty of mana. So I think I think this is going to be a really hard lane. I think Nyx and Ogre, not a strong lane duo. Like, quite tanky, quite survivable, but aggression? Not really a lot. So we'll see. Well, I was like, oh my god, he went bloodlust level one. Did he? Is that intentional? Yeah. Uh, Not ignite? Uh, yeah, I mean, I was going to say, ignite is a great lane for us. And no. then I saw he's got Bloodlust. No, he's found, he's it. He's, he's found the plan. You Bloodlust yourself, because you get more attack speed from Bloodlust, don't you? 60. Yeah. 60 attack speed. So he Bloodlusts himself and just tries to right-click. But you can't trade with an Abaddon, who basically gets Bloodlust for free, coming off Curse of Avernus. Um, and Brex is in trouble. Get Silence. One more right-click. Yeah, Kinder Surprise will claim first blood. Brex going down to, to one of his main heroes. We were talking about Brex heroes earlier. Abaddon is one of them. We forgot about that one. One of his. Oh, uh, yeah, true. That is true. Remember, he used to pick a bad almost every he, every game. There was like a seven <laughs> yeah. seven in house win streak or eight or something with a bad one. It was yeah. crazy. So yeah, it's um, yeah interesting to to see him die to his to his own hero. Uh, Meepo against Earthshaker mid. You don't see a lot of Earthshaker mid. I used to play Earthshaker mid uh, no, a little bit. Juju plays Earthshaker mid though, even in pubs. Does he? I like Earthshaker yeah. mid because uh, the power of Enchant Totem allows you to um, essentially last hit anything you want or any denies. It is so good to max this ability. But the thing about Meepo is Meepo is someone who can farm the jungle at the same time. As you can see what's happening now, level 1 poof's not super strong. Was that level 2? No, level 1 poof's actually gone 2 points of ransack. I didn't know that was the build these days. Oh, um, Brett, yeah, having a look at a fight in the bot lane. Nat nearly dying was interesting. Does get away, manages to sell, but that is a lot of harassment on him. But yeah, Meepo uh, basically can just AFK farm the jungle. Uh, this is the more AFK build with Ransack. Send Meepo, one Meepo into the jungle, have the other one in lane, and you get so much experience. It used to be almost obscene how much XP he could get, but in a rework a long time ago, they nerfed it so that secondary Meepos only get 30% of the experience. It says 50% in this guide. Why do I have an ability guide up? I don't remember activating any guide. But um, yeah, I think it's 30% XP only. Otherwise, Meepo would be way too high level. But look, three minutes in, 27 last hits. Nat blinks in for a last hit, burning all of Tim's mana away. Tim does have a ring of Basilius. It's not really enough. Brex and Tim completely on zero mana. And of course, Kinder can just heal up Nat if he needs to. Actually, hasn't taken a point in heal yet. I'm imagining he will at some point. Juju's not even trying to hit the Meepo. He realizes that Meepo with three tangos and ransack. You, there's just no point. You're, you're never going to force him out of the lane. The other Meepo is just jungling. What's with these backpack boots? 
Is that, is that a thing? Oh, he's, he's swapping them. Yeah, he's moved them now, yeah. <laughs> I guess, um... He's, is he going for the weird Meepo build? Meepo is a strange hero who builds stats over everything else to the point where you buy Dragon Lance on a Meepo despite being a melee hero. Or you buy multiple Eyes of Skadi or something like this. Really weird um, item builds on the hero. Kinder taking quite a lot of damage here. Unfortunately, no mana on Brex. So they won't get a kill there. And Nyx is struggling a little bit with the farm. What's happening in the top lane? You've got Hashim or Hapax Legomenon. He is yeah, the... I ain't saying that. It's uh, just it's just a bit of Greek, you know. <laughs> oh yeah, that language that I'm well fluent in. Yeah, well, it's from a university challenge, so he he liked it so much he kept it as his name, and it's just been like that for a for a long time. Oh no, he's being bought by a Weaver. Unfortunately, Sansa does struggle against Weaver. He uses the Mango, but he needs to get rid of the bug on him. Oh. He's just going to go for the fight. A lot of damage on Weaver, but the bug is just eating him away. One right click on Veteran <laughs> deletes him. But if that can be a kill on Kokopim, I would say it's worth it. Yeah, there is going to be a kill. Getting a kill for your POS1 is really good. So not bad, actually. Hashem put out a lot of damage before he went down. So I would say that that's gone pretty well, all things considered. Royce went for the aggressive um, Orb of Corrosion start. Very good for PA because obviously PA can apply it with the dagger. And is going for a Battle Fury, but going to take a little detour, pick up a Wraith Band, maybe even some boots. Where did Nat go? I have to pick up his Ring of Health. Yeah, Meepo. Say Meepo. Earthshaker and Meepo. Um, both level 6 now. Yeah, Earthshake is actually keeping up with the experience, which means the yeah. the Meepo, which is also farming the jungle, is not getting like a ridiculous amount of extra farm. Is this a Meepo strat, by the way, where you don't level up your abilities, or is he actually? Oh, he's actually put points in stats. Okay, this is the way you play apparently. Um, he's level seven. He's got rank two ransack, rank one poof, so he doesn't care about the poof damage or cooldown. He's got three points in bonus attributes. Which makes him probably the most boring hero in Dota history. You just right click with stats. But I suppose all the Meepos get your stats. And the clones actually get the stats twice, I think. So four Agi, four strength every time you level it up. I believe that's correct. You just got an invis room, but Meepo seems to know. Meepo used the voice line, kind of taunting him. I don't think there's enough damage. He's actually going to drop Echo. And he just poofs away. No problem. Well, Hashim gets a kill on Veteran, a little bit of revenge in the top lane. Yeah, they just ran at him. It's a shame they couldn't... couldn't really finish. Oh, well, where was his support? The Weaver, not quite there. Kokopian running around. He's got two smokes in his inventory already. Don't know why he needed to buy two. I guess he wanted to keep them on cooldown. Those make sense. They are very cheap. Maybe he's just griefing. I don't, I don't think that's quite true, but... Well, anyway... Where's the other Meepo? In the base. Okay, he is going for what looks like a Dragon Lance. So the standard Meepo build, which is very stupid because... Him's on the prowl. Yeah, going in for GG. Oh, but, but no points of Ignite. A very strange Ogre build indeed. Um, Zero Ignite Ogre is um, not a build I've seen very often. Yeah, me too. Because Ignite's actually really strong. People don't realize how much damage it does, and then they just die. I think most or ogres just um, HP. most ogres do realize because it's absolutely his best spell in the early game. But tim has gone for an uh, alternate style. I mean, when he's level six, he's going to have a very powerful fire blast when he gets the multicast off. Maybe he realizes Ignite just gets dispelled by a badon, so um, I'm not going to bother with it. Do you know what? It does make sense for the lane though, because you're never going to use it against anti mage because anti mage will always reflect it. I'm really? assuming that's why he's uh, he's he's doing it that way. Oh, Nat going for the kill on Brex, but Brex is out of mana. The so Brex will be fine, but Nat did a lot of damage there. A little bit of a chase. Master style to Hash, and there's no way he survives this. He can't kill the bug on himself, is the problem. Will they continue to dive Roids? I'm not sure. Roids actually goes in on Kinder. Uh... He seems to be okay at the moment. He's got a Perseverance. And yeah, Veteran just can't get the right clicks off because of the evasion. Only one rank of blur, which is 20%, but it still definitely counts. Oh. Still three versus one here. Looks like Juju's running around in haste. The Meepo disappears. Hashim is now back here. Obviously, Roy's can be seen. Corrosive Haze is going to be removed. Bit of damage done to Veteran. And they're going hard on Kinder. Oh. Look at that damage. Massive hits on Kinder. Now they need to kill the bugs. 
chance to go and hash him. Hasher hasn't killed the bug on himself. Does he know how to kill the bug? I've not actually seen him right-click a bug yet. There oh, we there go. go. <laughs> now he's going for it. 34 gold. Helcopium. He's only got rank 2 Sakuchi, but he does have it up. The curse is used. Kinder doesn't seem keen to dispel Helcopium's curse. He's like, nah, just, just tank it, mate. Bit late that dispel, I think. But never mind. Tim is now running up as well. He finds a nice little bounty room for himself. Finds Cocopium and goes, oh, nice. My chance to get a kill. Goes for the stun. Tries to punch him to death, but I think Cocopium's just going to scoot you away. No, he's just going to die to Will Tim. It? What was that all about? Why? <laughs> Why did he die? But Juju comes in with the max rank. Enchant Totem does a lot of damage, but I have no idea why Kokopium let himself die there. He had Sakuchi up. Um, no, 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 but he was waiting for the cooldown, but he could have just run. Now we're going on Veteran. Big damage to him. He doesn't want to cast a spell. He gets silenced. The slows. Look at the slows. You know, he's actually at minimum move speed, Veteran. But now the TP in. Roy's immediately blinks away, but looks like Sansa's is in trouble. He stops to, to buy the tome from the shop. <laughs> Got eight stick charges. Doesn't have Cross of Haze in him, so they didn't see him. There's also another TP in. This time it is Tim. They're going to go in. And then they have to back out. Fight's still going on. Dust is used. They've dusted the Weaver. Kinder Surprise popped his ult. Royds is quite durable hero. He definitely go back in. Go straight on Kinder. Gets high attack speed. Apotic Shield is up. Very back and forth. Tim, he's got the stun. But the dagger goes on the wrong target. Doesn't go on to Veteran. Got to be careful. Oh, Brex is behind the tower. Drops the uh, the carapace, but it's only rank one carapace. Brex taking a lot of damage. Royds goes in, tries to get a kill. Does get the kill on Kinder, thanks to the lucky crit. Nice evasion as well. That was Veteran's chance to get the kill, but I think he's still going to die. Yeah, he will. And now we're chasing Tim. This is a chance to do a lot of damage as Weaver. Tim just turns around. Doesn't have multicast, though. If he had multicast, might have been enough damage. Juju TP's up, but I saw Juju died mid, actually. Yeah, because of Brex. Brex ganked him. Ah, uh, okay. Him and me forward just beat Juju down. Um, I wonder if the if Ride's diving there is worth. Yeah, I'm not. He did go a bit too far, but what happens here? Um, Brex has his fun kill Kokopian, but Kokopian gets a kill on Tim. So it's a trade. Well, Brex could have just run in with Invis there. I think he's got enough. No, he doesn't have enough damage. Look at the tankiness of Slardar. 1700 HP. Even on half, he's at 800 health. He is a tanky hero. What? Look at that damage. This is mega. Rex goes in this. Does not stand a chance. 1,000 HP on the Nyx. 1,800. Sorry, 1,700 on the Slardar. Just has treads and, uh, treads and Ogre Axe and a Bracer. Just runs at him and smashes him. Unlucky Nyx Assassin. Uh, very squishy hero. Has to be careful. You can see G... You go ahead. Um, just realised that they've literally left this animate alone for oh, yeah. like ages. Whoops. Well, how I'm much farm has he got? Oh wow, you said they left him alone. <laughs> the second you said you left him alone, Meepo just runs in and immediately sorry, murders Matt. him. That is a hundred percent your fault. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Oh, that is that is the timing of that was quite funny, but uh, Meepo already has a blink dagger. Earthshaker is going for a blink as well. I think he has his up, but Meepo has that as well as a full dragon lance. 16 agi, 12 strength. Has he leveled any? Um, did he stop leveling stats? Yes, he stopped leveling stats, and he went for a couple points in net and an extra point in ransack. But interesting, he's leaving poof at level one. Obviously, Meepos don't use poof to farm or burst anymore. They just right click and look at this. Have to use the time lapse. So you can time lapse while in route. <laughs> oh, here comes a massive echo. But the global silence from Hashem. Fantastically timed. Now Royds is going in, trying to get a kill onto Juju. And there is the kill. And now Meepo, he is going to murder this Abaddon. We've also got the slow and Coke open. He's trying to chase down Tim. Is it worth it, though? I'm not entirely sure. Veteran actually finds a kill on Hashem in the top lane solo. Now it will take down Tim. So maybe it's not all that good for the Meepo. Meepo's trying to kill Kinder. Does manage to find the kill. Looks like a fight still happening here. Royds fighting the anti-mage. Gets a crit. Anti-mage blinks away. Got to kill the bug. Bug is gnawing him. Actually, he dies. Dies to the bug plus the creep. I think the creep took the kill. What a fight that was. That was all over the place. We can't see the death recap because it's been too long. But the thing is, Meepo has survived and is just taking the tower. But do you see the power of this Meepo already? Look, he TPs to the top lane. And Slardar, you just can't escape. He does pig pole himself, but we still got another net at the ready, I think. Please, can you use Sansa's in-game name? Hapax Legomenon. Every time. <laughs> I'll try. I mean, it was a very good silence. He obviously was paying attention because he died in the top lane, right? 
but it meant that he was watching the fight because the second yeah. that Juju goes in, you just global silence. And that is so good against Earthshaker because he gets the echo off. But if you can't get any follow up, the stun is only 1.5 seconds. And then Meepo, you know, just goes, I'm fine, turns around, murders him, which is exactly what happened. Yeah. I th has he got enough damage, though? I think there's. I'm trying to click on all the individual Meepos, but I can't seem to click on one in the middle. But I think there's one net left still. But it's only a two second route. I don't think it's quite enough damage to kill Slada, but there is a TP in from the science, so he obviously wants his permanent intelligence. Never mind, doesn't have a point in Glaives of Wisdom, so no permanent int for him. Great meme. It is a great meme. <laughs> oh, they left the tower in bot lane because Meepo came for a gank. So the uh, the tower's on 7 HP. Can we still ping these? Nah, we lost the ability to ping a long time ago. Wait, alt clicking shows the bounty in lanes? Has that yeah, always been a thing? Was, it's been the most recent updates. Is this just that. Is that just for Go us? Plus. Wait. For plus. What, can you see that in game normally? Yeah, yeah, you can see it in game as well. What? I don't know that. 217 gold on the wave. What? How have I... Ne yeah, no yeah. way. Is that what? Has that just happened recently or...? Uh, fairly recently. I'd say okay. like... Mm, like a month or so ago. Okay, maybe? I've never noticed that. The speed of Veteran. Man, he was in pig pole and in sprint. <laughs> he just legged it or... What do you say? Slithered away. I suppose. <laughs> Uh, bot tower does go down. Brex gets the right click on it. What is Brex building? He's going for... He went for Arcane Beat and Soul Ring. And he's going for Yule. So he's got a very, very mana hungry build. Which I think might be overkill. But you can never go wrong with Yule's. Especially on Nyx Assassin. It allows you to set up your stun as well. Ooh, Slada with a DD. <laughs> Prime he, that bash. He will hurt a hero like, uh, like Silencer. Is it enough to kill Meepo? Meepo's quite a hard hero to kill. He's already level 13. Look at the net worth on Meepo, by the way. It's actually very close throughout the game. Anti-Mage is actually in position 4 net worth at the moment, but he hasn't got his Battle Fury yet, so it will take him some time. But Meepo is a good 3k gold ahead of anyone else. Roid's doing some mega crits. He's just 3 crits in a row with his Battle Fury. No boots yet on Roid's. They don't go for Roid's, interestingly. And then Roid's just blinks over. Why did they uh, go for Tim? Why is Brex on Nyx? Good question. Yeah, Baden was picked, so he couldn't play that either. But looks like we found Cocopium. Nice kill by the, the Meepo. And now he has the Eagle Song. That's his massive damage item. 25 Agi. That means every Meepo receiving so much Agi. Global Silence is used, but it looks like Roids has gone down. Echo Slam wasn't even used. Still have it up. And killing Roids, that is uh, not good because he just had his Battle Fury, didn't really have a chance to farm with it. Whereas Anti-Mage, he now has gold for his Battle Fury. And he's already got the tread, so he's going to be farming quite a lot faster than PA. But look at the Meepo's net worth, so high. What is going on in the top lane? You said about priming the Bash. One more hit. Yeah, Brex can't do anything. Look, Brex is actually just going to die too. Look at him being absolutely destroyed. One more hit and he's gone down. Easy. Oh my god. Veteran is a monster this game. This Slardar, huge. But he's in a bit of trouble. Can the Meepos get in? They missed the first net. They get the slow with the dagger. Ah, and there's the second route. He does end up going down. Nice to the tower. Yeah, from the tower, but still not ideal. I don't think he would have survived anyway. <laughs> I don't think he could no. escape from being sandwiched between a PA and a Meepo. It's all on the Meepo this game. That's not quite fair because um, Roids isn't too far behind. But the Meepo is so far ahead in the net worth at the moment. of a 3,000 gold lead, which is only getting further and further ahead. He's level 15 when the next hero in the game is level 12. So I wonder what his XP per minute is. I never used that button. 740 XP per minute already. It's incredible. He's nearly got the E-Blade. E-Blade's an interesting item on Meepo because the E-Blade poof is quite a lot of burst, but you don't actually use magic damage as part of your rotation in Meepo these days. E-Blade is purely for the stats and the, the finishing oh, nuke. No. Oh, he gets away. Nyx could have maybe gone for the stun, but Brex didn't go for it. Never mind, just go for it again. There's the right click first. Follow up stun. Blink in. Yeah, they've got more than enough damage to kill now, but there's an absolutely massive echo. They don't have a global silence, but it's enough damage to kill the Meepo. They're going to try. Kinder Surprise is going to take down Brex, but no, they don't have the damage to kill the Meepo. And if you can't kill the Meepo instantly, he's going to murder your entire team. That's exactly what happened. Kinder drops his ultimate. Kokopium does actually manage to get a kill on Hashem. But I think Kokopium is now in a little bit of trouble. Do they have a route for him? He does still have time lapse. And Kokopium will escape. Never mind, you've got the multicast, but he can just immediately time lapse, which is what he's going to do. Can they follow another net? 
Yeah, he just blinks in. One more net. Yeah, and he is a goner. Ultra kill for the Meepo. Oh, God. And he takes the bugs as well. Extra gold because there's a bug per Meepo. That's exactly why I said Earthshaker. You can't just um, rely on him being the counter. He got a massive echo on the Meepo. And the Meepo went down to about half HP. And then when he didn't die, the Meepo just killed everyone. <laughs> That's what happens every time. Oh, he just blinks away. He's really good at using this blink and poof. Does manage to get away from the anti-mage. But what can a level 12 anti-mage do to a level 17 Meepo? I've never seen a 5 level lead by 18 minutes. I mean, what is that? That is a stupid level lead on the Meepo. He's going to be level 18 before some heroes are even picking up their level 10 talent. But uh, what level do you actually get divided we stand, the third point? Is it level 18? Because I know the leveling is really weird on this. It's like oh, 4, it? 11, 18, I think. Yeah, because you get the first Meepo at level 4, not level 6. And I think the second Meepo comes at level 11. I think it's 4, 11, 18, but I'm not in... Entirely sure. Anyway, he is going to go for Scythe of Ice now, which will allow him to pick off any hero he wants. But this is an absolutely fantastic Meepo game. And unfortunately, Juju just doesn't have the damage. He has to go a BKB to try and survive. And there's also the Global Silence to worry about, which I guess is why the BKB will help with that too. Okay, it's 4, 11, 18. So it, when he's level 18 on the Meepo, um, then he'll have his extra Meepo clone. I mean, it's bad enough these three Meepos killing everyone, but imagine a fourth Meepo. And you can actually get a fifth Meepo at level 25 if you take the talent. Or you can what? get 375 health on every Meepo, which tends to be worth it, but I'm not sure. Anyway, a bit of a fight going in the top lane. That was just going straight in. Global Silence used, but look how quickly Tim is dying. About four hits from the Deslada. Brex does not find the stun. Brex is being right clicked, but here comes Meepo. The main hero, Veteran, he gets dispelled. Massive Echo. Oh. This is the time to kill Meepo. But Meepo is very tanky. Looking at his health, he's still got about half his health left. Never mind. Now he's going to go oh. down with four heroes on his face with Corrosive Haze. With the bugs, they have enough damage. Global Silence was used, but Silence just ended up backing off. And they did not have roids. This is the problem. Uh, Meepo has to do all of the heavy lifting. And PA? PA is a very strong hero. PA was in the fight. Maybe it would have turned it. But I guess wants to get the BKB first. But actually, look at Royds' farm. He's been doing pretty well, piggybacking off Meepo's success to allow him some free farm. But finally, they bring him down, and uh, 700 gold goes to Kinder, actually, so he's happy. Yeah. Happy recipient of that. It'd be nice on somebody else, though. <laughs> uh, like Juju, yeah. obviously, but what can you do? Well, Juju actually decided to not go for his BKB. He thought about it, and then decided, no, I'm going to turn that Ogre Axe into a Aghanim Scepter, which is a very good item for mid-Earthshaker. Though when I play mid-Earthshaker, I tend to go Shadow Blade and Daedalus, but I think that's a bit more meme. You know, um, enchant your totem and press Silver Edge and just walk up to someone and just one-shot them from stealth. And then do another enchant totem and hit them again. And you've got uh, uh. essentially 800% damage that could crit. More like 1,000% damage, which is sounds like quite a lot. He's gone for the base damage talent as well. I like it. Look at his damage. He's walking around with a thousand damage, almost. <laughs> Imagine if that could crit. He's not even bought damage items. <laughs> Meepo's just going for Roche. Very bold move. He is now level 18, which means an extra Meepo clone. But this is Meepo at his strongest, when no one else is high level, and he's got four Meepos. They scan on the Dire, and they just don't think Roche is capable at this time. Okay, but thanks. Oh. Too late. Nat's just farming. Uh, nearly has the Manta Star. He is doing quite well on the farm. Uh, caught up with the Meepo, definitely. But Meepo now has Aegis. And Meepo is one of the greatest heroes with Aegis. Because you finally bring down this really quite tanky hero. And then just comes back to life. And so does every single clone. And he launches himself in. Well, I'm surprised uh, he's not going for Aghanims. Oh, look. They've dropped like the Echo in the top then. Going on to Roids. Roids doesn't have BKB. Massive damage onto Roids with GG. The nice thing... Uh, ooh. And they get a kill in the bot lane, but it's only a kill. It's a kill on Nat? Yeah. I thought smoked. it was Tim, but Nat, um, Tim got the kill. But yeah, Nat versus Roids. It was a, a pos one smoke pickoff. <laughs> Interesting. Well, um, yeah, I wasn't, wasn't expecting that. I think Enchant Totem used to have True Strike, but now it doesn't. So yeah, so yeah PA now just can evade it. So yeah, Earthshaker definitely took a nerf on that. I'm sure it, at one point Enchant Totem had True Strike, but but now it doesn't. 
Yes. Both carries per Pega this game. Yeah, it's true. I like the mid Earth Taker actually. Not doing too badly on it. He's got the Aghanims now, so that's a lot of mobility. Also, it gives it a 40% cleave on the Enchant Totem for some reason. Oh, they found Veteran. Another route. He's in a lot of trouble. There's Now that there's four Meepos, there's no way you escape. I say this. But then he pig poles himself right into the corner. He missed it. All the nets get missed, but he's still going down. There we go. And there's the kill. I can't see which is the real Meepo. There we go. Three minutes on Aegis still. He's nearly got Scythe of Ice. I say nearly. That's not quite true. He's working towards Scythe of Ice. And he's going to be pretty scary when he gets it. You can see he's bringing out the Ultimate Orb now. Can an Anti-Mage stand up to a Meepo? I really think the answer is no. No matter what Nat builds, I think he's going to struggle into Meepo. I thought maybe a Butterfly would be quite good because then you evade his right clicks. But maybe there's just too many hits and you just can't survive. Yeah. Maybe I'd go BKB, get rid of the net. If you're netted down against a Meepo, you know, you're just you're just ruined. But if you have BKB, you can't be netted, then Anti-Mage can be mobile. They see Cocopium. Oh, Brex, you're so greedy. So greedy, going for the right click. I think against a Weaver, you just instantly go into the stun. Royce had more than enough damage to kill a Weaver. And I bet he's regretting that one. And Juju drops the Echo Slam just for Tim. To, oh, I don't know wow. why Tim by himself was even there. That's um, interesting. <laughs> but anyway, goodbye. Yeah, like, like Dave is saying in the chat, it's the difference between a good Nyx, isn't it? Is, um, not, not trying to say Brex is bad, but you want to get as much damage off as you can. Obviously, with the ultimate, it hits so hard. But knowing when you can't be greedy or you don't need to be greedy is a really important part of that. And that's exactly what cost him the kill. Okay, Dave, you say that. You, you take that one. What's, what's Meepo's level 20 talent? Either minus three second Earthbind cooldown or eight Ransack health steal. I think he's taking the Ransack health steal because that's eight more pure damage on every Meepo as well as eight more healing. I think that's what you take. Need better neutral items. Meepo walking around with an ocean heart. I suppose it does give stats. I suppose a lot of neutrals don't really do a lot on Meepo. Do they? Like, you don't need a Brigand's Blade. Do all the Meepos get neutral items? I don't think they do get neutral items, do they? But they will get the... Nah, that would be broken, no. Oh, yeah, that's true. So they don't get any stats from it either. But so the five all stats motion heart actually is worth... Veteran is so fast. Ah, oh, he gets hit by the net. This time, Brix will get the stun in place. And Veteran is going to go down. Only two uh, permanent int stolen from Hashim because he didn't level up Glaives of Wisdom for such a long time. Looks like he's going for mech. He loves buying mech on sports. Doesn't matter what the sport is, he is getting a mech. Oh, really? <laughs> I actually think mech is really um, good to have when you have a Meepo, because obviously Meepo is going to be taking a lot of damage from things like Earthshaker, and he just needs to survive. So giving Meepo essentially another 300 health is, yeah, definitely worth it. But it's quite an unusual item to buy on a Sansa, isn't it? Um, sorry, yeah. Lentus. Mech. Yeah, 275 health on a mech. 300 on a Guardian Greaves. Mipo has his sheep stick. Does he now? Okay. Oh, Juju! -ju. Well, we talked about sheep stick. He goes in with the E-Blade, then Hashim gets the kill because <laughs> Mipo didn't actually have enough damage to finish it off. So Hashim's going to be happy with that. But yeah, very nice skill. And that's the thing with Mipo. Once you get Blink Scythe, you're basically a ridiculously strong assassin. The question is, what does Mipo go now? Does he go for Skadi for more stats and for the extra slow? And the anti-heal, of course. Or does he go for Aghanims, which allows him to use the dig, which is a fantastic ability. Gives you 40% uh, of your health. But remember, you can't forget about Phantom Assassin. Actually has the same net worth as Nat. Nat finds a kill on Brex, so they're happy about that. And Cocopium, though, is split pushing in the top lane. They're just losing their racks. Racks are going down. 26 minutes into the game. There's one lane of racks and two lanes of racks. Meepo just backs off. Doesn't have the Aegis anymore. But says, yeah, thanks for the racks. See you later. And there's the Desolator for PA. So this is PA's damage spike now. Big chunk of damage from Desolator as well as the Minus Armor. Um, the Dyer changes their tier one neutrals. There's, there's a few tier two.
that they can take. And the tier threes are up now. So I'm hoping that they can finally take Yeah, they've got three tier one neutrals still in use. Um, the shovel, the ocean heart, and the keen optics. It's a shame most neutral items are just not good for Meepo. But uh, yeah, I think you could see Cloak of Flames. Maybe uh, it's not really good for anyone. A lot of these neutrals aren't that good. They need to get some other ones. Cocopium is literally right here. They finally see him, but he runs away. They are chasing him. Oh, no, he gets yours. Quick yours by Brex. There's the stun, and he's going to die. No greed this time. Yet another kill for the Meepo as well. I guess you level up Poof over stats at this point because, um, no he doesn't, he's leveling up stats. He's kind of got a bit of each. Poof does go up in damage, but the cooldown becomes quite low, that's the main thing. I've never seen the Meepo Shard. You fling a Meepo towards the enemy, dealing 100 damage and a 50% slow for an Wait, unspecified amount of duration. Yeah, it says that. Oh my god, it does. Does it say fling? Yeah. Yeah, it does say fling, yeah. I didn't read that right. I, I just don't think I've ever seen it. I know Aghanim's it itself is good. Or oh, Brex, he's found someone. Nice on to Juju, there's the Hex. But Kinder, he's already used the Aphotic Shield. That was the big problem. They actually dropped the Global Silence just in case of any follow-up, which I think is worth it when there's a um, an Earthshaker as the target, the mid-Earthshaker, because it does mean you're now ready to push the high ground. But there is Spyback ready for Juju, which I know he'll want to use. But Hashem's got his mech at the ready, of course. wonder if he goes full Guardian Grease or not. Guardian Grief doesn't actually increase the healing very much. It just lowers the cooldown drastically. As well as making it not cost any mana and give mana and give the aura. So this actually does quite a lot, but self dispel T. Meepo backs off. Got to be careful. They've gone in, veteran. Has to run. Roy's popped his BKB, but it doesn't look like they're going for many kills. So BKB has been used, but so is buyback as well. Nat blinks straight in. Roy's has a big crit with his dagger. Remember that Meepo's ready to go in at any time. Juju, he goes in, rushes for Silencer. I'm not sure that's the target you should go on. Amiibo goes straight in, kills Juju. That's a dieback from Juju. He went way too far trying to kill a Silencer. And now the veteran is going to go down as well. In a surprise, has to drop his ultimate to get out. Massive damage comes out from the anti-mage, but look how quickly he is dropping to the Meepo. All that to kill a Silencer. I don't think it's worth it. Kinder's got no ult. He's going to go down. And Royd's doing some damage to Kokopian, but Kokopian manages to escape. Yeah, has to time lapse back. Gets E-bladed. We'll secure away, but I mean that's GG is called. Last game, 30 minutes oh in, and the game is called. I mean at that point it was over, but wow. But yeah, he passed five. Now we ask the question of, will they ban Meepo next game or will they just let it? Like because they might be like a one-off. Well, it just happened to be the perfect um, lineup to build it into because you saw Slardar anti-mage Abaddon and Weaver. There was nothing they could do against Meepo and just putting all of the anti-Meepo um, sentiment into one person, Juju, it's just not enough. You know, they needed someone else to carry the anti-Meepo, you know, control or burst or something like that, but they didn't have it. So it was a very difficult game. And you can see the Meepo carried in, in terms of damage, 33,000. Ogre only doing 4k damage, but did it matter? Meepo was hard carrying the damage. And of course, multicast on Ogre, pretty good. If you hit multiple Meepos with that, with the with the multicast on the Bloodlust, you know, that's a massive buff for him. And, you know, Royd, he would have come through if the game went longer, but he wasn't really that, <laughs> that needed. But yeah, really, 